Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hammy channel and for you guys today we're going to be bringing you the brand new patch update that we just got that's going to start out season one for Black Ops Cold War. Now this is just looking like a PS5 slash PS4 preload download as of right now. I actually got the full download because I got a PS5 and uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at everything that's just brand new. We'll probably hop over on the PC here and show you guys an entire list of everything. There's not any patch notes out yet currently so we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for those to come out and when they do come out I'll go ahead and put them in the description of this video so we can have a good idea what's actually been changed but we'll also go through some other other content creators that have already posted some of the weapon changes and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the end game footage of the harp right now I'm gonna go ahead and pop over there and then once we get done with that we'll go ahead and look at everything else that's changed throughout the game and that's gonna set everything up for season one with the war zone crossover and all that stuff so I'm gonna go play a quick like private match real quick and show you guys what's up with the harp see how that works see what the score is for it and everything like that so I'll see you guys in the game in a second just hopping in right into a lobby we can see that we have our prestige token key all the way up at the top next to our cod points as well as around with the lobby uh, layout as well like all the game modes you can see here now they have dirty bomb as its own thing nuketown 24 7 was there but now they have combined assault you know they kind of like combined everything up and made it look a lot cleaner um but we'll go ahead and hop into our private match here and we can go ahead and explain to you guys what really this harp is all about all right so right away it's just going to go ahead and show you guys that it's new down here in the bottom corner with all the other score streaks it's going to be six thousand score uh, accumulated up throughout your game to get this and it says it's a high altitude reconnaissance plane that shows both enemy position and direction on the mini map cooldown is 60 seconds which isn't too bad especially if you're on a good kill streak or your teammates are having one as well um i don't know if they have any sort of like preview like they did in modern warfare but we'll just go ahead and have to just throw this on in game um, we have this on we're gonna go ahead and see what it does we have a bot lobby here filled up ready to go i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the game we're gonna go ahead and pull this out and see exactly how it works now i've heard from a couple sources that this isn't actually fully working in the game yet a lot of people are having the same issue that they did back in modern warfare where the enemy should disappear off the mini map and everything like that so it doesn't look like it's fully implemented all the way or it has a massive bug like it did last year with the advanced uav but we'll go ahead and see how it works in a private match real quick so i can show you guys what we should be able to get this rather quickly here just lay out some bots real quick and then i'll show you guys what it looks like private match So we're about one kill off of this thing, and then we're going to go ahead and pop it here. I'm um, just trying to figure out where everybody's spawning at. Tasked, we okay, so we got the harp. We'll go ahead and see what it's like when you call it in. And it does look like it just pops everybody up on the radar on the top left, as you guys can see. Um, directional, you know, just a normal normal advanced UAV, orbital, VSAT, you know, everything everything we've had in the past. It's exactly the same. doesn't look any different. Um, so that is pretty nice. You can see how long here. And it also changes the uh, UAV sweeping across the mini-map as well when you have UAV up, it looks like. It looks like it turns into an orange. Yeah, it works the same as every other one. No difference there. Just kind of just shows pretty much everybody's location, where they're moving, and what, they're fi what direction they're facing. That's pretty long, too. About 30 seconds, it looks like. If not, a little bit more. Maybe about 45. And then the cooldown's not too bad. Like I said, it's an only 60 seconds, so about another minute, you could probably have one of these ready to go if you're on a good kill streak. And other than that, that's the only thing they really added to the game other than the uh, new SMG, the new shotgun, and uh, I'll be, I'll, I'll have to post uh, some pictures of them somewhere if I can find them. I'll put them on the screen, like, right now if I can. There was also a new AR, but I couldn't seem to find any pictures of it, so I'm sorry about that. But these are the new weapons that you guys can see that are going to be coming into Season 1. But that's pretty much it for the uh, 60 seconds cooldown after it's finished, not while you call it in. So you have to wait an additional 30 seconds once you call it in to actually get it. So it's kind of, uh, it kind of it kind of works progressively towards itself. So we'll just go ahead and end this here, and we'll go uh, hop over on the PC here to show you guys what else have they changed. So we're going to pop over here to Drifter's Twitter to get a little insight on all the guns that got patched and all the guns that got buffed and nerfed. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at them right now here on screen. So we're looking at the AUG, the M60, the Gallo Fire Rate, FFR, Milano, and the KSP all had nerfs and buffs, and we'll go through them right now. So the AUG got a damage nerf of 54 meters to 51, which is not too much. I mean, it's still going to be an absolute slayer of a gun. The M60 got an ADS time reduction from 700 milliseconds to 600 milliseconds, which is absolutely insane. That needed to be done from the very beginning of the game. Using that M60 was one of the worst guns to use in the entire game, trying to get camo 
ammos for it. Um, the Gala Fire Ray got nerfed from 220 or 212 rounds per minute to 189 rounds per minute, which was eh, I could see that being a thing. It was kind of spammy, you know. It did kind of give me some brecky vibes at first. Um, and then the FFR got a range buff from 25 to 38 meters, which is absolutely needed. I mean, in hardcore, this gun was a two-shot kill anywhere on the map. Like that's just not that's not okay to have an AR be a two-shot like up close in hardcore. It's just not it's not even right, man. And then um, for the Milano, we got the uh, range buff was 12 meters to 15 meters which is okay kind of makes it more of a little mid-range gun a short to mid-range gun now which is kind of nice but it's, it still has a really good damage rate so keep in mind that gun might be used a little bit more now and the ksp also got a range buff from 11 meters to 15 meters as well now the thing with the ksp is this gun is all up to your connection as well so it really depends on what kind of connection you're playing on because the bullets just seem to deregister so bad for me especially when i was using it to get dark matter i had a hell of a time man. the gun just did not work for me but that pretty much sums up everything that the guns got patched uh, as of right now and we're gonna go uh, we're gonna hop over to charlie intel's little article that they posted and see what they got going on over there so an overall fix uh Treyarch provided a high level look at everything here um they got the Weapon tunings, including the tactical rifles such as Drifter's Tweet. They never touched the M6, the M16. They didn't touch that. They didn't touch the touch the Type 63, and they didn't touch the DMR. Um, they did change some spawn improvements, zombie fixes, updates, including like two-player split screen, which is absolutely amazing. I haven't seen two-player split screen in a long time. It looks like PC got some stability fixes as well, so that's pretty nice and pretty good. That they, pretty glad that they did go ahead and do some of that. Um, perk tuning and including reducing flak jacket protection was really nice especially with a couple clips i posted on twitter before you guys will probably have seen them where i literally just freaking shot somebody in the back actually i'll pull up one right now so you guys can see it no you'll have to be 21. <laughs> so smoke some pot again. <clears throat> there you go. hey yo cuz what Yeah, I mean, that's just ridiculous, dude. There's no way that should happen. They're gonna also add a separate download for Warzone on the 15th tomorrow to bring all the new Warzone stuff and officially kick off Season 1 across all the games. But for right now, I already showed you guys all the new weapons that they're implementing over that are gonna be in the game, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I got a couple screenshots from them. One of them's gonna be kind of choppy, but that is that is what it is. It looks like they're also gonna be dropping a new assault rifle as well for Season 1. We're gonna go and see what this is all about because I haven't seen anything about this yet. Uh, so here we go. How to unlock it across is free to unlock in the Season 1 Battle Pass at Tier 3. So it's a it's a pay to win get it's a pay to get gun you know people are gonna buy it and instantly have it and it's gonna take around a couple days to get this so it's level 31 uh, included in free tier so by playing the game completely challenge you to unlock it without paying a cent yeah but you all know that you have to pay to literally unlock this like let's be honest here you're not gonna get the tier 31 without paying for the battle pass unless you play for an entire month straight because if you don't have that tier bonus season pass you just don't level up your season levels at all it's terrible assault rifle known for its great handling speeds allowing its owner to quickly aim down the sight in the heat of battle it's a fast fire rate and a high bullet velocity making a strong choice amongst any range um velocity uh the high velocity of 762 will be especially effective in verdansk so it's going to be a nice long range gun and it'll probably be pretty good for mid-range fights and long range on black ops cold war as well so that's pretty much going to be how to unlock it you know you can just buy it skip 20 tiers with your 2400 cod point bundle or you just unlock it normally or play for a month without paying for the battle pass at all and that's pretty much how you're going to get that looks like jay got here already went ahead and did all the math for all the important stuff uh we'll pop over here real quick and see what he did um so you guys can take a look at for all these you guys can go ahead and just see everything that that's done um this is going to be everything that you guys are going to need to know i'm not going to get into too much detail about all that because that has to do with a lot of warzone stuff so we don't i don't really need to do any of that stuff uh, i'm not really into warzone anymore it also looks like we're going to get a new gulag as well inside of warzone and like i said uh, i just i'm not covering any of that stuff really i'm not going to be doing anything like warzone it just doesn't do well for the channel i just can't seem to construct the content in the way that it actually promotes the channel in any positive way so i don't really do any any warzone stuff i mean if that guy's that guy's if you guys want to look at that stuff you mean you guys know who to go find you know but that pretty much wraps everything up here i don't really know what else uh is included in this i think that's everything with a couple new weapons and new assault rifles so we're gonna be looking at about five new weapons that we're gonna be using inside of black ops cold war and warzone if you guys are into that we got two new melee weapons a new shotgun an ar and an smg and those will be pretty nice to work on season one but i still don't have the account back so i can't really do anything yet man so that's kind of shitty well, we'll see what happens uh so if you guys uh, haven't subscribed make sure you go ahead and do so that'd be greatly appreciated leave a like down below if you like the content and don't forget to go follow our twitch over at twitch.tv slash hammy tv it'd be greatly appreciated guys and uh i bid you all farewell hope you guys are having a good time hope you guys enjoy season one and uh hopefully catch you guys in another video here soon peace out